It was always a big dream of mine to meet my dad, to see him. As a child, I used to watch every airplane go by and just wave, thinking, this is my dad, this is my dad, and just wave at it, because I was just constantly trying to find him in my heart, you know? I'm the Benini Maori, a rau ne shan medical, the mel den kara yerua, sinau maira, waltem, a tamel kain sibuna, sibuna kain tabitowea, ne a sinana, ne kabwe, kain no no snebe, sibu tonumane, den yerua, kain marakei, a bayang, su kong, a tarawa, ngai. Kain kiribes, eighteen and kiribes, uh, Sinao kain England, I kukure and Tetem and Kami Tipong A. Hey, uh, my name is Sean. I'm originally from England and kiribes. I've raised a number of children, some I've adopted, some I haven't. And my husband and I have looked after five children. My husband is from kiribes, I met him here. When I was at uni, he was in a different uni. I was born in England, raised for the first seven years of my life in Kiribati, where my dad's from. And my sister was born locally near in Hawaii, and my brother was born in Kiribati too. And we um, enjoyed our life there. I don't recall actually speaking any English as a child until I was in my first primary school, which in Kiribati was an English speaking school. So we were, my sister and I, we brought up fully in the Kiribati language. And my mum wanted us all to move back to England, to where she comes from. So we all moved back. My mum and dad broke up um, just before I turned nine. I was the eldest uh, of our three siblings. And um, we were, all three of us were brought up by our mother. And didn't have any contact with our dad as much as we wanted to, um, which was quite difficult when we were Kiribati and our Kiribati parent wasn't around. And actually it was around that time that I lost our, the language I could speak. It was always a big dream of mine to, to meet my dad, to see him. As a child, I used to watch every airplane go by and just wave, thinking, this is my dad, this is my dad, and just wave at it, because I was just constantly trying to find him in my heart, you know, but an almost part of our life to find out how we could, how I could connect to, connect to him without being able to connect to him. So I started dancing, doing Kiribati dancing, which helped us, I guess, to be connected, but it wasn't quite enough. Um, so when I was 18, I went across the world for about seven months in search of my dad to try and track him down, try and find him, to sort of find out who I am and my roots. And it, it was a big part of my childhood, um, um, having that dream. And I, I didn't find him, no one did. From that trip, we actually moved over to New Zealand. I was in uni, um, I met my future husband through families and connections, actually through the Kiribati community. We also got engaged in the Kiribati sense and went to Kiribati for three months. And a couple of years later, we uh, had the opportunity to look after some of the boys, some of the nephews in the family. Um, so I think I was around 23, 22, 23. Um, we started to look after them, then two of their older sisters, um, and then later, another relative from the islands, but they became a very integral part of my life very, very fast. So I became mom, aunt figure very, very fast. I, at first I thought, okay, this is something I have to do. But once the children were there within a few days, it became very clear that not only was my life about to change, it was changing, but I got to see how wonderful they were. I just completely fell in love with my new family. Um, my heart was much fuller. I had much more of a purpose. Maori kain kiribesi New Zealand ke John Abbott kai e e potsi kukurei ente te o te ke roi bugin na mi kai no ameta ente te ki ei bugin na mi te kaka ro ke te mai e mai e sabu.